All right, everybody, how you doing? It's been a little minute since we went on a little street tour, a little street location. We're on Linden Boulevard heading towards East 95th Street. Today we're doing a little Lufthansa history. The Lufthansa heist, December 11th, 1978, of course. Now, as many of you know, the story of the Lufthansa heist, the biggest heist at that time, almost $6 million, probably more than that was taken by the Jimmy Burke crew. Now, why are we heading to East 95th Street though? Well, as many of you know, a man by the name of Stephen Stax Edwards was supposed to get rid of that van that was used in the Lufthansa heist. Now, originally that van was reported stolen in the Flushing Meadow Park area of Queens, New York. Ultimately, it would be used in the heist. Now, Stephen Stax Edwards was an affiliate of the Jimmy Burke crew. He would hang out around Robert's Lounge. He would hang around Henry Hill's spot, the suite. And he'd be involved in credit card scams and all types of things. Sometimes he'd be uh, receiving some of the proceeds, maybe some clothing from some of the hijacking that they would do. And he was kind of cool with them. Originally, it was said to that he was actually originally friends with Tommy D. Simone first. That's what's been reported. And he also was known to be a blues musician. He liked to sing, play his guitar over there in Robert's Lounge. I'm not sure if anybody liked what he was doing as far as all that, but reports are conflicting. And so what happens is he is tasked with getting rid of this van, right? He's gonna get rid of this van and he has to bring it to a chop shop basically to have it smashed. Now, the story goes that Stax Edwards does not do that. He heads into Brooklyn to meet up with a lady friend of his. And he ends up getting screwed up over there, maybe doing drugs, hanging out, just forgetting everything about what he was supposed to do as far as his job of getting rid of that van. This is a tale as old as time, the Goodfellas Lufthansa heist tale. But I figured it was worth it to come check out exactly where Stephen Stax Edwards decided to leave this van. And he leaves it on East 95th Street in this area of Brooklyn. And on, this, on the 13th of December, 78, it would get discovered after a police officer tickets it for parking in a zone that it's not supposed to be in. And then he remembers, hey, wait a second. This looks like the van that's wanted for that Lufthansa heist. Hmm, better call it in. And here it is right here. East 95th Street. This is where that van was left. And I'm going to be showing you guys pictures to line up here. The van was actually left. Right here. So let's get in the street. Let's get some pictures. East 95th Street. Now I'm going to show you guys some pictures. Now right here, this red awning up there, it was left right in front of this home. So at one point in time, this is really nerdy stuff, but I'm into it, guys. I'm into it. I know some of you are. At one point in time, the van used for the largest heist in history, perpetrated by the Jimmy Burke crew, was parked right here. This is where Stephen Stax Edwards left this van, right here, New York City history. Let's get some pictures here and then I'll go down to the block and we'll get another picture. Poor Stax, you made a fatal mistake, buddy. Let's go down to the other side. East 95th Street, between Linden and Church. So this would be a quick video, you know, just kind of want to show you guys exactly where this happened. And I think we'll go to another spot after this. So I'm gonna put up some more pictures actually. 
right here. There's, we got old photos from this side as well. You can see these long stairs leading up to these homes. And you could line that up to see exactly where that was. December 13th, 78. And at the time when they found this, they had found fingerprints on the back mud flaps of the van, as well as the bumper of the van. And as I mentioned recently in my Angelo Seppe upload, there was also two men who got unmasked during the Lufthansa heist, that being Seppe and De Simone. And they had the sketches out at that time also. So finding this van, having the sketches, this was a big break for these guys. Now, as many of you know, Lewis Werner is the only one that ever went down for this. But finding this van was an important piece of evidence. Let's cross the street. And let's get a view here. I'll put up some 1980s photos of this block. So, you know, it's a little reminiscent of what it would have looked like at that time. We'll do that. We'll pan this way and you get the whole block. Once again, December 13th, 1978, police officer comes here, tickets the Lufthansa Heist van right in front of this apartment ahead, right here, well, home. And he realizes this is the van that they used and this place is swarming in no time with police. This is the spot, ladies and gentlemen. East 95th Street, Flatbush, between Linden and Church. As I mentioned before, we're kind of like on the edge of, of like Brownsville. We're technically in Flatbush. Surrounded by Canarsie and Brownsville. This neighborhood here is not too bad. I think Brownsville is a little rough. So imagine you're Stephen Stacks Edwards. You think you're going to come into a big haul of money. You played your part in this thing. You did what you had to do. So far. And you decide, hey, I'm going to go meet up with this lady. I'm going to get fucked up. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to tell her what I'm up to. We're going to do drugs. It's reported that he, would, he did drugs with this woman. They probably slept together. And, you know, he failed at his job leading the cops to this location. Where the van was found. Pretty cool, right, guys? A little history. New York City history. All right, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna maybe go over to Ozone Park. We're gonna go to the spot where Steven Stacks Edwards loses his life at his apartment. What's up guys, how are you? You guys wanna be on YouTube? What's going on? No, how about you, man? What is it, what is it you're doing? Can I put the camera towards you or no? No. No. no okay. It's okay. You don't want to All right. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put it. Doing. Yeah, I'm going to put it down. I was talking to him before. You guys watched Goodfellas before, right? I heard of it. I didn't watch it before, but I heard of it. Yeah, it's a mafia movie. You seen Goodfellas, my man? Yeah. Well, they robbed the Lufthansa heist in JFK in 1978. They stole $6 million. That was in 76, wasn't it? 78, actually. December 78. Oh, was 78? Yeah. Well, I keep thinking it was 76, right? Yeah. So, you know, they're supposed to get rid of the van, right? Yeah. And the guy. Uh, Samuel Jackson plays him in the movie. They end up killing him. They were supposed to get rid of the van. He didn't get rid of the van. Okay. We parked it right here. Oh, okay. So this yeah, is where the, the yeah, this is where the van was picked up. Actually, right on this block. So on my YouTube, you know, I go to these spots. You know, so people like to see this, especially people overseas. You know, they're obsessed with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you work for a movie station? Or you're freelance? No, I just do it myself, man. Yeah, yeah. It's messing around. I had off today, so you know. Yes, sir. You get all the credit. That's right. <laughs> nice to see you, brother. All right, you guys have a great one. All right, thank you. Thank you, my man. I am gonna leave. Yeah. I'm heading out. Thank you, guys. All right, so that was cool. One of those guys I actually spoke to before, 
And, uh, yeah, cool guys, man. They just want to know what I'm doing. I tell them what I'm doing. Now they got a little, uh, a little thing to tell, you know, other people. Because they live on the block. A lot of people don't know of this stuff. Let's get one more look over here. Here we go. East 95th Street. Right here. Right here is where that van was. Steven Stacks Edwards royally screws up. And within a few days, he's going to lose his life. Supposedly at the hands of Angelo Seppe and his old buddy, Thomas D. Simone. You know what? Let's go check that apartment out. All right, everybody. Second part of the upload right here. We are in South Ozone Park, Queens. Coming from Brooklyn. From East 95th Street. Where Stephen Stacks Edwards left the Lufthansa van. And we are going to 10916 120th Street. This is 120th right here. We're going to make a left. Now, why are we going here? Well, as you guys see in the Goodfellas movie, Samuel Jackson plays Stax Edwards. And on the 18th of December, 1978, what we are told, Angelo Seppe and Thomas DeSimone come to Stax's apartment and end his life because he royally screwed up with the Lufthansa van. Now, why wouldn't he just skip town? I mean, was he that not intelligent that he didn't know that something was gonna happen? Who knows? But as you see it play out in the film um, with uh, De Simone and uh, what we're told is Angelo Seppe. I mean, in the film, it's Tommy DeVito, and you have the Carbone character played by uh, Frank Sivero, and of course, the DeVito character played by Joe Pesci. And that famous scene where they go into that apartment in fine stacks, the unwittingly, the unwittingly, is that the right word? Unwittingly knowing that he was going to lose his life there, Samuel Jackson. Say, yeah, come in, guys. Everything's cool, right? Not really. Not really. So let's turn around. I just want to give you guys a view of the block, and then we're going to get a look at the apartment. The real-life apartment where Stax lost his life. This will be a quick one, guys. 109-16-120th in Ozone Park. And actually, we're about a half a mile from Robert's Lounge, so you can kind of know... You can kind of see why it was so easy for this guy to get involved with these characters. All right, so let's look right here, guys. Let's look right here. Okay. Right there. 109.16.120. That was Stax's apartment. And that's where more than likely, up there, Tommy D. Simone and Angelo Seppe entered his apartment. And the police would find his body on the 18th. December 1978, just a week after the Lufthansa heist. Now that is something, huh? More history today, guys. New York City history. Let's wait this other car go by, and then we're going to cross over and get another look at the apartment. Couple of cars. It's getting busy. Of course, when I film, it's getting busy. Got a nice little Cadillac right here. So we're gonna go take a look up close to that apartment. Let's see what it looks like. The apartment of Stephen Stacks Edwards, 109 16th, 120th. So picture December 18th. Tommy D. Simone, Angelo Seppe parked their car. They're walking right here on this block. And they're going to come into this apartment here. There you go. 109.16. Once again, the spot where Stephen Stacks Edwards loses his life kind of eerie you know sometimes I get a little freaked out thinking about what happened in these places you know so like I said this is just a quick 
adage to the first part of this video. I thought it would be worth it. And let's turn around. Let's get out of here. It's a little busy. Got a lot of people around. So. Some of you guys are also getting a nice little view of South Ozone Park. I know a lot of my viewers here have heard of this neighborhood. Obviously, a lot of the mafia and crime history you guys follow. Man, that was cool, man. It feels good to be out here filming again on the streets, man. It's been a while. I thought this one would have been a nice one, and I hope it turns out well. Let's get another look down the block. The block that once inhabited the apartment of Stephen Stax Edwards, who would lose his life on the 18th of December, a week after the Lufthansa heist after failing to get rid of the van and failing to realize what kind of deep shit he was exactly in. All right, everybody, this has been fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you on the YouTubes. Thank you so much.